Hey friends! How are you? Hope you all are doing well. It has been nearly two months since I uploaded a video because I was busy with my personal life and was not able to focus on this channel. It was quite boring staying away from the space community. Now, I am back and I have made some drastic changes to our channel. You may have noticed that in our intro itself. We are starting again and we will continue to upload our daily episodes. So just keep tuned in every day. Today, we will talk about the Starship's orbital launch. As per my latest analysis, SpaceX may shoot S-24B7 into orbit next Monday. Starship has been waiting for its maiden flight for two years and now, it's finally time to go. Today, when I visited the FAA's Operations Plan Advisory, I saw that the Starship's orbital test flight is targeting Monday, April 10, no earlier than 8.10 a.m. Central Daylight Time, 13.10 Universal Time Coordinated. This report was released a few hours ago. So, this is the latest update from the FAA's side, but nothing has been confirmed by the SpaceX teams yet. I hope that we will probably hear that final announcement within two to three days from Elon or SpaceX. On March 30th, Booster 7 was placed onto the orbital launch mount and yesterday, SpaceX successfully completed the propellant load test of B7. On April 1st, Ship 24 was moved to the orbital launch site for the full stack. Today, chopsticks are in a position to lift S24 onto the B7, completing the final procedure. I think the next would be a full stack propellant load test, probably before next week, which would indicate the green light for the launch countdown on April 10th. FAA will issue the launch license to SpaceX within this week itself, and there is nothing to be worried about regarding the disapproval part as FAA itself had stated Starship's launch plan on April 10th on their page. So, that's all about the Starship Super Heavy update. Let's wait for the announcement from SpaceX. As you all know, the launch company Virgin Orbit was on the verge of bankruptcy last three to four months. Now, the company had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in the District of Delaware. This is an effort to sell the company after failing to achieve the financing to sustain the company. Virgin Orbit has also laid off 85% of its workers in recent days. I will try to update you more on this in the coming days. That's all for today and thanks for tuning in. I will catch you in the next episode, until then, bye.